Hello and what's up everybody and welcome to Bricks and Toys. Thank you for joining me on another set review. I hope you guys are doing fantastic as I am doing fantastic as well because I just got back from the Lego store and making the Lego store haul video and getting so many awesome May the 4th Be With Us sets. And the first one we're going to review is right here under my hand. This is going to be set number 75383, Darth Maul's Sith Infiltrator. Now this set is for the 9 and older crowd, and it is 640 pieces. Now, as you guys may notice from the box art, or just by the news at this point, this is the next set, I believe this is number 3, with the exclusive 25th anniversary minifigure. And this time around, we are getting the Saw Guerrera. Now, this is one that I do recognize. I believe I recognize him from Rogue One, but I definitely am familiar with this character. So that is awesome for, for that fact. Now, this set does come with three minifigures, the Darth Maul, Qui-Gon Jinn, and Anakin Skywalker. So awesome selection of minifigures. One really cool thing to note is Qui-Gon Jinn looks to have a really unique like apron, like robe piece, which is, you know, fluid with the Phantom Menace. I just want to note that, you know, we'll go over minifigures as we review this set. The set overall, it does seem really nice. It is a play set, obviously, nine and older. Looks like we have some bombs coming out from underneath of it. When I first saw this set, it was one of those sets that I was like, oh, that's going to be a $30 set. But much to my surprise, this set retails here in the U.S. for $70. $70 for this 640-piece set. That is, that's astronomical. And I cannot wait to continue to, to progress through this video to see if it is actually worth every bit of what I paid for. Because at this particular point, I am in disbelief that this cost double of what it actually looks like. But let's continue to review the box and pick out the details that we notice as we do so, and we will get more into all of that meat and potatoes down the road. Coming up to the top, for the second time now, I can see right here, we have a 25th of episode one plaque as well, or, you know, badging. The first time I saw this was on the poly bag, and I was a little thrown off because we're doing 25th of Lego and F Phantom Menace, and I thought I was gonna be like all one logo mixed in together, but no, there's two logos. There's clearly the 25th right here, and then the 25th for the Phantom Menace right there. Of course, we have a one-to-one -one scale of the minifigure of Darth Maul, and we have some legal eagles over there. Coming around to the side of the box, we just have some little warnings of let, you know, don't let your children eat the set, obviously. That would be very bad. We have more of the 25th Anos right there. It's more of the Star Wars badging coming over to this side. Star Wars 25th Anniversary Badging. I really love this 2024 25th Anniversary Packaging. It's really nice. Coming along to the bottom, more Legal Eagles, barcodes, all that kind of stuff, serial numbers, Star Wars again. And then coming to the back of the set, we get another look at the set and what to be expecting with this set. Now, with this set, it looks like we do have a little speeder bike for Darth Maul. That is a really cool thing to see. It looks like we have a lot of great play features because that bike does look like it fits inside. You know, we'll talk more about that later. And it also shows how we can load the bombs and also got some of those little laser shooters that you see common on these type of sets. Overall, nicely packaged box. Really like the box. Love the 25th minifigure that we get. I cannot wait to review that as a whole. And let's not stall any longer. Let's actually bring you guys into my desk. And let's cut open this box and let's see what we can expect in terms of the build. Okay, so here we are at the great unboxing, or should I say probably a minimal unboxing, but an unboxing nonetheless. We have no tape to cut on this box. It's gonna be one punch tab, two punch tab, and then we open it up. Nice and simple. You guys are getting the first look inside. What am I gonna be seeing? Oh look, Technic Beams. Well, that's how we're gonna make the core of it, I guess. But we have a lot of dead space in this box. Let's go ahead, let's slide out our units. There we go, and we are unboxed. So now looking down here at the bags, I'm trying to guess, I see a bag seven. So because I see a bag seven with a Saw Guerrero in it, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say we have the seven bags 
right here. So let's get into it. We have bag two. We have bag five. We have, oh my God, look at that, bag one. That's like nothing. So we have bag one. We have a seven. We have a three, four, six, and then seven. So yes, yeah, seven bags. Here we do have our book. Now we do have our 20 points right there with our QR code, gotta get that. One really cool thing to note is our 25th anniversary minifigure is on the book packaging, so that is good to note, because he's not mentioned anywhere else on the box, but on the front of the box. I didn't really point that out until now, I just felt like that was important. Getting to the back of the book, we can see that. It's, okay, so we finished off the book with showing us how to load the bombs, but we have 184 building steps and 150 pages in this set. Coming to the front, it tells us to expect paper packaging, yet here we are, still no paper packaging. 25th anniversary, to be expected. And I'm gonna guess it's gonna go right into the building experience, it is. So this is gonna be a super simple and easy build, but it's gonna be an easy build with some incredible minifigures, and not to mention a whole different type of Star Wars vessel that I have never yet to experience. So I cannot wait to get this set built, and you know what? I'm gonna take a day to get it done, and up next is gonna be the review. So here it is. Here is Darth Maul's Sith Infiltrator. Now let's take out these minifigures and let's look at the vessel first. Now to remind you, this is a 640 piece set, I believe for $70. So we're gonna be getting to the bottom of it if it's worth it and I can tell you, I don't believe so. So you know what guys, there's not too much to really see on the top half of this ship or really any part of this ship. I mean, this was one of the ships I believe was made in CGI. We do have no sticker elements in this set, so that is a plus. It does seem like for this ship alone, the cockpit of the ship is in here. Then over here we have a bomb loading area. Then over here we have a weapon function. We do have some rear foliage that I think is supposed to move. I do like the green on the little back burners here. Now to open up this ship, it's relatively simple. You just pull up the back here, lift up the front there, and then you can move that and then move that. That will get you into the cockpit of the ship. I guess you got to sit on the bike to pilot the ship. This is the little bike for Darth Maul to ride on. The rest of the cockpit looks just like that. We can easily set that all back in there and close everything back up. Very simple, simple, simple. Over in here, there is an area for some bombs, as you can see, tucked away in there. And the way that those get dropped is if we go under the ship, we will see there's a little door right there. And I guess you're supposed to be able to, well, that's the other feature. We do have some stud shooters right there on the front, our laser shooters. And when you press right up here in this little area, they do shoot off. So I leaked that one a little bit soon. Now let's get back to those other ones and let's try to figure out how to get that to come out. I think you've got to reach in and pull. There it goes, just like that. Now looking at the bottom of the ship to see how I did that, you can see a little rubber grommet down there. Right here's a little door where my thumb is. And that door is what locks in that little cubby area. And I just broke something off by pushing that cubby area in. The bottom of the set, nothing too really interesting to look at. Let's go ahead and set that down. Let's start taking a look at our minifigures. So the reason that that actually broke off is because I had a bomb stuck in here still. And I did not know that they all did not come out. Well, this is a train wreck. You guys get the idea, that goes back over there. First off, we have Anakin Skywalker, front torso printing, back torso printing. His hair piece is the same as the Harry Potter, just in a, a more of a tan nougat color. And he does have two faces. So he looks like he's happy here, kind of like shocked here. These are the bombs that come out of it, nothing too special. Here we have Qui-Gon. I do like his little cape or cloak piece. I like his hair piece. He does come with a lightsaber. Lifting up his cloak, you, get, you can see he has leg printing on the front, torso printing on the front. No leg printing on the back, but yeah, he does have torso printing on the back. 
I, let's check to see if he has a double head. Yes, he does have a double head. Darth Maul is quite interesting. He does have that double-ended lightsaber, like we all know. Front printing on the torso and the legs, and just back printing on the torso. No dual head printing, because even if it did, it would look really weird. But one thing to note is he has no pupils. So this is a new rendition of this minifigure, I guess, because it does not have the pupils. I think he needs his pupils. He looks really freaking scary. So that does it for the whole thing, but we have one more bit to talk about, and that is actually Saw Guerrera. Now this is a hell of a minifigure. Comes on the 25th anniversary plaque. He does have printing on his top armor piece, front printing on the legs and his torso. No printing on the sides, but yes, he does have printing on the sides of his armor on both sides. Coming around to the back, he does have this really intricate cape piece that's really nice, and back printing on his torso. He does have this little staff type weapon, and overall, this is a really nice minifigure. Let's take off his hair piece, see if he has a dual expression, and he does have a dual expression as well. So that is the mess of the review of the Sith Infiltrator. Now it's come out, let's share a few more thoughts about it. Wrapping up this video, everybody, as you can see, I have my first Star Wars shirt. You know, I got this today, very happy, it's very itchy, but I had to get it on just to show you guys the first Star Wars shirt. I mean, it is May the 4th be with us week, and um, you got to show your colors, everybody. But getting back to the lecture at hand, or the review at hand, the Sith Infiltrator, it is a really awesome playset because we finally have some play sets coming in from the prequel eras. It's been a while since we got any from the prequel eras. So for me, it's a really cool ship. The biggest elephant in the room is the price tag at $70 for a basically 640 piece set. That is a really hard to digest. I mean, maybe pushing 45, 50 but I think it should be at least half the price. I mean, the price per piece on this is getting quite ridiculous. I usually have a golden rule of if it's under 100 with Lego, it's considered cheap, but I'm starting to see that that rule is getting taken advantage of, and I'm starting not to believe in that rule anymore, because yes, this is under $100 at 70, but you're not getting a whole lot for the money. You are getting three minifigures, two of which I don't even have in my collection yet, so I don't imagine a lot of collectors do have them, which are Qui-Gon and Young Anakin. And that right there is, is honestly the point of where you are like, I'm a collector, I don't, I don't have these guys, I gotta pay to play. And I think that's where Lego is gonna get away with this set being at that price, but it's a really, really hard one. And I really hope that it does go on sale so more people can get it. I'm happy for it. I'm not too happy about the price. I did find the build to be rather may. Eh, you know what I mean? The build wasn't really all, all that exciting. But the end product to me is really cool. And that is to have a prequel era set on the shelf. Now the 25th anniversary minifigure. That's the other side of the coin. I think for the 25th anniversary minifigure... I mean, Lego has our balls in a sack, everybody, because there's the benefits I've already stated about the ship, but if you're trying to collect all the minifigures, Lego can keep raising the prices on these 25th anniversary sets to whatever they, th they deemed fit, and uh, we're going to buy them because we want to collect the figures like we want to collect trading cards. And this minifigure does not disappoint. This Saw Gerrera minifigure is really nice. I really like him. I think he's an excellent addition to the other two we, we already have. And at the end of the day, I guess it just makes this a must recommend because I do see value in collectible things. And this with the Saw Gerrera is basically just that. So with that one, that concludes my video on this set. It's a bend over and take it. You are getting some awesome minifigures. You are getting a prequel era set. And that's why you just got to get the lube and just ride the wave. So on that one, everybody, if you guys want to support the channel, there's two ways to do so. You hit the little thanks button down below and leave a small donation. Anything you guys can leave helps buy Lego sets just like this and ease, you know, with the lube of buying sets like this. 
and support the LEGO channel that you guys are watching. If that's not your thing, you guys can also support the LEGO channel by just hitting the subscribe button and following along with everything that we do here. That's also very much appreciated. As usual, if you guys wanna share this video with your friends, that would be incredible. And also comment your thoughts down below. You guys kind of see my point of view of how this is expensive, but yet it kind of has us in a place to where we need to buy it if we're serious collectors. So comment down below and let me know what you think among other thoughts that you may have. I would love to hear your point of view. Up next on the channel, I believe we're gonna stay with the Phantom Menace. We're gonna tackle some of the Brickheads. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for all these cool new May the 4th Be With You sets that I'm currently reviewing. Thank you for watching, y'all have a great one.